this is Kathleen with KathleenStamps.com. Today I'm here with another Christmas card. Uh, this one I made using the uh, kind of eclectic stamp set and the Christmas bauble stamp set from Stampin' Up! and the Stampin' Up! blend abilities to color in the ornament. I also use the uh, Wink Estella to make it all shiny and I'm hoping you can see that on the camera really well. So let's get started and I'll show you everything that I used and then we'll start stamping the card. So I'm going to pull this out just a little bit. All right. So these are the products that I use for today's card. I use the Christmas Bobble set from Stampin' Up. I use this little starburst from the Kinda Eclectic stamp set from Stampin' Up. I use the Momento ink pad, the Versamark ink pad. I use silver embossing powder. I used the Knight of Navy blend abilities. And I, and I only used the medium and the light color. I used the Wisteria Wonder blend abilities. And again, I only used the medium and the light color. And I used um, the shimmer cards, the white shimmer cardstock. I used a piece of Wisteria Wonder. I used a piece of our silver glimmer paper. This is a piece of the um, shimmery cardstock also, and I've stamped that starburst from the Kinda Eclectic and embossed it in silver. And then I stamped my greeting in the um, Memento stamp on the bottom. So this is all ready. And then um, I've stamped my bauble on a piece of Whisper White cardstock. So let's get started and we'll talk about how to go ahead and color this. So let me come in a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. All right. So one thing that's really nice about these blend abilities um, is they're alcohol-based markers. Um, there are several brands of alcohol-based markers on that you can purchase, but I really like the fact that the Stampin' Up! markers match our card stock. And so you can again have everything that you do match and blend really well. And I just think that that makes a really pulled together look for your card. So let's get started. Now there's several techniques for using these. And um, some people use the brush tip, which is what I do. And some people use, ugh, I could get the top off. Some people use this bullet tip. Can you see that? Okay. Um, but I'm most comfortable with the brush tip side of the marker. And um, so that's what we're going to be using today. Let me pull out just a little bit. I think I'm just a bit too close. There we go. So the first thing that you want to do is because these markers are alcohol based, they're going to, um, there's a possibility of them drying out pretty quickly. So what I do is I pull the cap off, but then I just slip it back on like this. So it's just waiting, ready for me to use. I start with my lightest color marker. And what I'm going to do is I'll just start here and I just start coloring all the way around the image. And as you color, you're going to get, it will seem like you have some streaky marks, but those marks will disappear. Um, that's the wonderful thing about alcohol markers is that as they dry, they blend each other or blend together really well. And so you get a nice smooth image or a nice smooth coloring on your image. So I'm just going all the way around the edges and then I'll just fill in the center here just like that. Now I want to have um, a shadow under the bottom of this circle. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get out my medium color with the Wisteria Wonder and I'm just going to go right around the bottom of this circle just like this. And then I'll go back and pick up my light marker and I'll just use circular motions coloring around that um, darker highlight that I put on here. And initially this may appear 
kind of blotchy, but as the ink dries, it will all blend together and give you a really smooth look. And so that's how I went and colored that. And I would just repeat the same thing on the other areas of the card. Now on the blue, I wanted, again, I only wanted to use the um, light and the medium markers. So I'm going to be using, and so then I'm going to color this area right here at the bottom and just going around the little scallop edges and then coloring that in. And then I want a little darkness to look like a shadow underneath the little scallop. So I'll take the medium marker and run that right under the scallop and go back with my light marker and color in, blend the two together. And it's just that easy. Now what I wanted to do, I just went ahead and completed this for all the different areas on the card. And then I wanted it to be really shiny, and um, so what I did is I used my Winka Stella marker, and I wanted some areas of this to be silver, so I got my silver Sharpie marker and just colored in the areas that I wanted to be silver, just like that. And then what I did is I took my Winka Stella marker and went over all of those areas. So you can see here on my finished product that I've cut it out. And can you see how it's all shimmery through this area right here and on the cap. And then I added some shimmer to the leaves at the top. So then to put this together, I got my piece of shimmery white cardstock and this uh, cardstock is 11 by four and a quarter and it's scored at five and a half. So then on top of that, we're gonna put on a piece of the Wisteria cardstock and this is three and three quarter by four and three quarters. And we'll go ahead and put this on. And then just center that on my card. Then I'm going to glue down the glimmer paper and um, I want something to adhere to the top of this glimmer paper and that can be kind of difficult to do. So there are several things, you have several options. You can take a circle punch and punch holes out on the inside where it would be covered up by what's going to go on top of it and then adhere the silver glimmer to your cardstock and then those holes would be here. And in those holes, you could put a, a dimensional, and then the stickiness of the dimensional will stick to the back of the next layer. That's one way that you can do it. So let me go ahead and put this down. Okay, so we'll just make sure that this is nicely centered. Okay, now our final piece of cardstock that again is the shimmery white cardstock, and this is three and a quarter by four and a quarter. And what I did to get this to fit or to stick to the silver glimmer paper is I used our sticky strip. And oh, let me. So I put my sticky strip down. Pick this up. So any of the items that I'm using on today's card um, can be found in my Stamping Up store. You can also go out to my blog and there'll be a link to it at the top of this video, KathleenStamps.com. And you can go out to my blog and all of the supplies that I use will be listed. And you can see this card and get some additional information about it. So now that we have the sticky strip on the back, we can go ahead and mount this on. And the sticky strip will stick to the silver glimmer paper very well. Okay, and then the last thing that we're going to do is put some dimensionals on the back of our bobble. Just 
like that. Peel those off. Sometimes they're just so cranky. Okay, and then we'll mount this on the card. And there we are. Well, I hope you enjoyed this card and that you'll give it a try. Please stop by my blog, KathleenStamps.com, and then you'll be able to get some additional information and you can purchase all the items that I used. Um, also, please take the time to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would really appreciate it and leave a comment. I love to hear from everybody. Thank you so much. Bye. Yeah.